Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a prophetic word for the spring and the month of March, March 2022. And so Friday night I was just laying before the Lord sleeping and um, I heard him kind of stir me in the middle of the night and say, believe and be established. And so when I woke up, the next morning, Saturday, I heard the same word. And so I went and looked for that word and it's found in Chronicles. And this is a word that is about the battle being the Lord's and how to prepare for the battle that is before you. This is the same chapter when um, the prophet says, be still, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He says the battle is not yours, but the Lord and that the Lord will fight for you. But I want to go a little bit deeper into that word and I will link the Saturday morning um, prayer and prophetic intercession that I did after the Lord gave me this word so that if you want to go deeper, you can do that as well. But I'd like to ask you to subscribe and like this video before I get started. Now, whatever you're fighting for, whatever you're standing on God's word for, I want to give you a little history. If you start at uh, verse 1, the people of Jerusalem, the people of Judea and Jerusalem were going to fight against Moab and Ammon, and they were going to fight against them and the Ammonites, and they were going to be in this battle. And Jehoshaphat was king at the time, and it says that some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria. And there is Hazaron, Tamar. He, they listed all these people. And so what Jehoshaphat did, first of all, he feared. The Bible says that he feared in chapter, in verse 3. And he set himself to seek the Lord. And so when you're facing a battle, the first thing that you want to do is seek the Lord. And then he proclaimed a fast throughout all the land of Judah. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord. And so people came together to ask the Lord what they should do during this time. And what happened was Judah, uh, Jehoshaphat, who was king at the time, stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. And he said, oh, Lord God. And he began to bring the Lord in remembrance of his word, what he had done for them and who he was for them. And he was saying, you've done this and you've done that and you've done so many things. And you're the God who told us to be here. And now these people are coming against us. And I just want to read that for you because as you seek the Lord, as you're facing your battles, before you just go out to battle, the Lord is saying, seek the Lord. And when you seek the Lord, that is how you, you remember and you stir yourself up in what the Lord has done for you. And you are established in your faith and in your trust and your hope in him. He says, believe and be established. But that's later on before the battle. And then he says, believe the Lord and be established and believe my prophets believe the Lord's prophets and you shall prosper. And I want to show you how this works. And so the Lord is saying to us in this season, he's saying it to Ukraine. He's saying it to anybody who is facing an insurmountable battle where everything is coming against them. And it looks like they are defeated to believe in the Lord God and you will be established. Believe his prophets and you will be uh, you will prosper. What does that mean? When you are established in the Lord, that means that you are fixed, that you are unbreakable, that you are in a stable place in God. And to prosper means to bring forth all the fruitfulness that God has for you. And that, so the people of Israel, when they believed on the Lord God and what he said, not only did he establish him, but then the prophet spoke and they believed and acted on the word that God gave them. And they prospered not only only natural, not only spiritually, but they won the battle and came out with lots of spoils. And so that goes back to the word where in the New Testament, where Paul said, war a good warfare, according to the prophecies that were spoken over you. And so he told Timothy to act on these, to war for them, to believe what had been spoken over him, what God had done for him and what he still said that he was going to do. Now let's see how this plays out. Jehoshaphat stood and he said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not the God in heaven? 
Are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nation? And in your hand, is there not power and might so that no one is able to stand withstand you? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwell in it and have built a sanctuary for it in it for your name saying if disaster comes upon us sword judgment pestilence or famine we will stand before this temple and in your presence for your name is in this temple and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and save and now here are the people of ammon moab and mount seir who have who whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt. So he's, they're bringing this to them and he's bringing that he's establishing himself in the word of God. And so as they, as Jehoshaphat brought himself and the Lord and the people, the congregation in remembrance of what God had done and what he had promised him, he established himself in the Lord. He established himself in his faith in God. And it's that when you believe in the Lord God, you will be established. So right there, he was establishing where he stood in this battle and how he was going to stand in this battle, that he was going to ask the Lord fight to fight for him. But then the prophetic word came after he did this and after he spoke about all the things that he had promised them. And he said, oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. And so the next thing that you need to do is keep your eyes upon the Lord. Now all Judah with their little ones, their wives and their children stood before the Lord and they waited to hear from him. And then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jehizal, who was a prophet, who was the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mattaniah, a Levite of the son of Asaph, in the midst of all the assembly. And he said, listen, all of you, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you. You do not need to be afraid. Do not be afraid or dismayed at this great multitude. Don't be afraid of what you see. Do not be afraid of the great multitude that is before you. And uh, that goes for Ukraine. That goes for anyone who is seeking the Lord for an insurmountable uh, battle when the odds are against you. But if you seek the Lord and bring him in remembrance of what he said about you, you, what he said about your nation, what he said about his promises about you, what he said about his family, what he has spoken over your life and his plan for you and what he's already done for you, then you establish yourself in faith and trusting the Lord. And here comes the prophecy. And this is the prophecy. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up again up by the ascent Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerul. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself. So do not fight. Do not fight against someone who is stronger than you, against an enemy who is stronger than you, but believe the Lord God and stand still. It says position yourself in the battle. They were still going down. They were still going to position themselves. Stand still and see this salvation which is the deliverance the healing and all the things that the lord offers to us for he is with you O judah and jerusalem do not fear or to be dismayed but tomorrow go out for the lord is with you and the bible says i am watching my niece by the way today my great niece by the way but i'm trying to get this video together right but the bible says that jehoshaphat bowed his knees and he prayed for the people and he blessed the Lord God during this time. And so when he blessed the Lord God and he prayed for him, what happened was he he prayed and he blessed the Lord God. And so it says that 
all the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping him. And then they lifted up a shout to the Lord. So after the Lord gives you a prophetic word, then you want to praise him and you want to bless the Lord for what he's done for you. And then it says they rose early in the morning and went out to the wilderness to prepare to fight. And this is when Jehoshaphat, the king, the leader of the people, had a word for them. That is when Jehoshaphat came to the people and he said, Hear me, O Jerusalem, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Uh, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he had appointed he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord for his mercies endure forever. So they went out with the praise in their mouth. But before that, he believed the Lord is God and he believed the prophet and what happened is they went out and they smote, smote their enemies they they went out in the rooting and being established in the Lord their God they went out to establish in their faith that God is who he says he was who he says he is and that he was going to deliver them and then they believed the prophet who said you don't have to fight that God is with you, and they acted on that word. And when they acted on the word of the prophet, they prospered. So they went out and the Lord delivered the people into their hand. But not only did he deliver the people into their hands, they prospered financially. They came out with so much wealth and jewels that were off of the people that it would took them three days to gather everything together. And so God is saying to you, no matter how big your battle is, stop and seek the Lord. Don't do it in your own power and might. Do not try and fight this battle on your own, but seek the Lord. Let him establish you and let him give you the strategy um, for what you're up against. And then praise him. Um, and believe the prophecy and the prophetic words, the prophets that come to you and, and bless you with the word of God that he, when he says that you're going to win, act in faith. Don't just take the word and say, okay, but then do what they said. The prophetic word came forth with instructions, with specific instructions to go out, to stand still, to prepare, to, to go out to battle, but to stand still and let the Lord fight for them and to praise God. So what is he telling you to do? And that you have not acted on so that you can prosper in your situation, that you can prosper in his plan and purposes um, for you, even with your enemy there. So I want you to do that. The prophetic word is believe and be established. Believe the Lord God and be established. Believe his prophet and you, his prophets, and you will prosper. You are to believe, to believe, to believe. Remember, bring yourself in remembrance of what God has already done for you and bring the Lord in remembrance of what he said he will do for you when you find yourself in a pickle and a bind. Do not fear. And if you fear, take that fear to the Lord and seek him for how to overcome it. And then believe the prophetic word, whether that comes directly to you through seeking the Lord in prayer or that comes a another way, then take that word and act on it and obey. God bless you. You will be victorious in this season. Spring is the time when the kings in the biblical times went out to war and to spar against one another. They went to battle, not in the winter, but in the spring. And so spring is upon us and, and many will see war right now, um, spiritually, as well as physically, but God has a plan for you. Seek him. Seek him and don't fight a battle that he hasn't called you to. Seek him and let him give you the instruction and he will fight for you and you will win and prosper. God bless you.